All right, so here's the second tip to show you how to uh, how to enhance your detail when you had a single light light source and in a and in the dark environment. All right, so uh, you 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 can see from the results, it's I had a ground and a object. Also, I had a, a just a neon neon lights. The ground just uh, send a, a a glossy material to it and uh, leave the diffuse to black and uh, send the, this kind of roughness material and uh, a bump material. By just using these two channels, you can achieve this kind of detail when you had a, a dark environment. So where should we find, uh, where, where should we uh, found to to find find the textures. So I often use a website called polygon.com. So there is a section called surface imperfection, and you guys can find a lot of interesting and good materials in in this website on, on this website. So if if you want to find a a uh, reference material, you you guys need a kind of this kind of a you guys should choose a much detailed textures like like this and uh, like and like this for the bump material you should choose less detailed and less and and, and just some and just some little, little, little dots like like this and, uh, and like this all right, so it's quite simple. Also, you should uh, change change the mode to a uh, plus tracing, so that it so that OctaRender can automatically compute and the accurate physical environment for you. All right, so so that's it. That's very simple. Also, you also if you want to make them more realistic, also you can add some depth of field effect. Like this, Let's understand the uh, octane camera attack, and uh, and, uh, and crank up the depth field. Ah. Uh, I made a bad uh, example, so you so you got the idea. If you want to make uh, very detailed reflections, you can add uh, some detailed uh, texture to the roughness and the uh, bump. So that's all.